Avery Peterson here. Um, I just want to show you two different styles of hitting, or two different types of hitting. Um, people don't understand this enough, and you need to understand it because there's serious benefits in different ones. So we have a, a traditional swing where we go around and we swing around. And it's all pretty neat. And I should have got that hole with that one, but never mind. It's all pretty neat. The ball goes pretty well and it's pretty cool. Then we have a pendulum swing. On a pendulum swing, I'll stand up more. I won't get down here like this, which is a lot of people want you to do. They want you to get down here and hit the ball like this. We don't want to do that. Why would you do that if you don't have to? That's a lot of body work just to get that happening. I know it engages your body through the ball and everything like that, and you do need it sometimes. But if you have an option, why wouldn't you stand up, maintain your body structure and your foundation, drop your wrist, and swing from here in a pendulum swing. Here, a pendulum swing. And you go, well, that's pretty good too. So what is right? Right, you can play a base with a pendulum swing. That will just be fantastic. So there's benefits to it that are really, really, really viable if you choose to use them at the right time. Um, around back foot makes not much difference at all because a pendulum swing off a back foot is quite good versus a ring and body swing, which is okay as well. But you just need to understand they both exist and they're both different. The ability to drop your wrist is a wonderful thing. A wonderful, wonderful thing. Nowadays, players are down here where we used to be taught to keep your wrist back as much as you can. You have to have your wrist cocked. You have to have it back here. And I teach that to kids when they start. But after a while, I go, had enough of that. You're good enough now. Let's start dropping your wrist a little bit and see what we've got. Because then it gives you the option to actually start to work through the ball ever so slightly with your wrist. But that gets to a little bit more advanced. So I'm just merely, this video is all about you understanding there's different types of swings, there's different ways of swinging, and it should not be locked into one definite way. You have to do this and you have to do that. You need to have different abilities and different options to do different things from different places. So the pendulum swing's really cool. Starts up here, swings down the floorboard, swings out, you stand up more, you drop your wrist, you hit on full extension. So I'm hitting on full extension off my toes. So here, there. That should have been a slightly better shot, but it's pretty reasonable, and um, it comes off. So it's pretty simple here. It comes through pretty easy, and it's really easy on your body. It's not hard to do, and it all comes out quite well. This one's quite good, but you've just got to do so much more body work, and there's a lot more timing. You know when it's going to be struck, and everything can read it really well because people have been looking at that for years. So there you go, two different types of swing. That one there, and that one there. Just use them all slightly differently, different situations, and you'll get a great outcome. Gary Peterson here. Today I've got Jess, she's going to give us a hand. We're going to use, play an inside slice forehand drive to target. Target is just here, um, just behind the service box, four floorboards, and we're after a nice low power hit. Okay. Jess is doing what most people do, and then she gets down and around. What she's doing is you're giving everybody a full look at the ball. You're getting right around, you're doing a lot of body work, and you don't really need to do that body work. I'd rather you use racket ability and racket direction to get the ball to, get to go where it needs to go. So what we're going to do is to ask you to stand up more and drop your wrist, you're okay? And we're going to swing down the floorboard more. So the forehand drive will look like that, and that will go directly to target every single time. Stand up and drop your wrist, open the racket face for where you want the ball to go, and drive your racket down the floorboard. Here we go. Stand up. There. Now we've just got to get that down low. Get it down low. That's all right. You'll find you'll get really accurate with this. Good. Try and keep the ball down low. Hit it down low. Hit it low. That's better. Don't get it, let it go high. Good. Stand up. Drop your wrist. Good. That's all right. Not bad. Here we go. Open face. Open face. And again. Open face. Good, see that little cut inside the ball? That's what we want. That there, now just get the height right. So keep it down hard. There, again, cut across it. There, you'll get the angle really well. Okay, the only problem with this, or the, the thing with this swing, it's a different type of swing. So instead of coming around your body around this way, we want to try and keep everything in front of your body. So we come out around here, and around this way, and out that way. So we come around here, and out that way. So try and see if you can push your follow through out towards the front wall. Good. There, that's more the swing we want. Again, stand up, open, 
There. Now just get that down low and it's got everything. That's just really good. Open it up. There, that's perfect drive. Again, stand up. Stand up on it. There, open it up. Lift, hit off your toes. Good, get around earlier. Right around. Great shot, that one, that's on the money. Good. So stand up, inside. Great shot again. Open, open. Good, you can cut the angle, open it up. I want you to push the front wall a bit more. Open the face. Follow through the front wall, front wall. There, it gives you that little that float or lift the ball up. Front wall, there, that one, that's better, much better. Front wall, there. So now you can control the angle really easy. Upwards and then you got it, there and up. Last one, and up. There, you can feel it starting to come together because you're starting to go out towards the front wall more. The more you do that and you go out there, it just gets really, really neat. This is the same one that makes an awesome boast because that shot there cuts a beautiful boast. So from here you got five shots. We want five targets. We want to hit the side wall on the full, just behind the service box. Let's go. Stand up. That's a good shot. I'll take that one. Two. Round. Three. Not too bad to open. One, too good for me. Round, round, stand up. Two, great shot. Stand up, stand up. Three, that's good. Much better with the body move there. Four, and last one. Round you go, and it's too easy. So there you go. This is a wonderful skill. It really is really friendly on your body. It's just such a good thing to do. If you stand open, it's really hard for them to tell which way you're going to drive because you can do this easily, just no trouble at all. Around you go and it's severely accurate. It just hits target relentlessly once you get a bit of a reference of where it is.